to our lesson. And hello, teachers. Welcome to my resort station kindergarten. Today I am going to show you kindergarten graduation year book 2023 to 2024 school year. Now we have here two cover pages. One is for the girl, one is for the boy. Moving on to page Three. I'm going to show you how to insert the teacher's headshot in teacher messages. I'm going to use my mouse and click on this plank headshot, plank picture here. The box is highlighted and you'll see that four arrows, north, west, and east, and south, and the arrow showing. You're going to right click. Oops, right click, change picture, okay, and this window will pop up, insert picture window. Right hand side will show you where all your files are, the left hand side panel will show you where your files is saved. If you saved your files on a desktop, or download, or document, or picture, or in a Dropbox, or a SD card, or USB. Mine saved in the SD card. Now my files are saved right here, here book clipboards. I have five graduation clipboards picture here. I'm going to click on this teacher right here. Okay, teachers, just a reminder to let you know that I am, don't feel comfortable adding the real headshots in this project because they are copyrighted by Google or Pinterest. They have a lot of graduation photos, the real one, but I don't feel comfortable adding into this project. And also the Teachers Pay Teachers Clip Arts are copyright by Teachers Pay Teachers because they're the owner of it. They draw it. They post it on the Teachers Pay Teachers for teachers to use for their projects and their worksheets and all that. I'm using this graduation clip arts for the graduation yearbook. Respect of the owner, if you want your copy of those clip arts, Go to Teachers Pay Teachers and you can get it from there. I'm not the owner of it. I am just using it for my project for a purpose. Moving on to the project now. Now to the teacher message. Now you can see here, I highlight my teacher is in blue. Okay? In my insert picture. I highlighted it. I'll show you again. Okay? I want this picture to turn into blue. I click on it. At the bottom, you see insert. Okay? You click on it. Voila! There's my teacher. Headshot. She just didn't part. Another thing too, teacher, you can change the border. If you don't like the white border, go to Picture Tools Format. Click on it. That's why right here I click on that. You can click on any one. You can do this one, or you can do this one. Whatever you like, okay? I'm going to go to picture border on my right hand side. I'm going to click on it. There is a color background. I'm going to click on gray. Gray color. Voila. There she is. She highlighted it, okay? At the bottom of the page, there's your text box highlighted. You're just going to click on this, right click, highlight it. Be careful, do not delete the background or the teacher's headshot, okay? Or if you delete it and you accidentally saved it, you will lose your layout. Be careful, okay? By the way, I'm using the PowerPoint. Now, right here, this is color font. You can change the color font you like. 
Okay, I'm going to keep mine as white. I'm going to change the size of the font. Click it here. I'm going to make mine a little bit big if I like. Go to 20. Okay, and then I can change the font. By the way, teachers, uh, Teacher Pay Teacher have lots of amazing font that you can download and install onto your laptop to use for project. That's good. That's what I have right here. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to choose my font that I like. I like this one, Diary Pin. Now, <clears throat> that's okay, teacher's name highlighted. I'm going to highlight, write her name now. There, I entered the teacher's name, okay? Now we're going to move to the top of the page here. Type your graduation message. Okay, it's highlighted. You can do it on the right hand side or left hand side, but be careful. Do not delete the background or the images. Okay, if you have a long message or short message, you're most welcome to add it. Okay, you can change the font color you like. Or you could change the font size. I think I'm going to change my font size to 28 a little bit. And I'm going to keep this font. Okay, right here. There's the font. I'm going to keep this. I enter my message here, okay? You can make it big, and you can add more message here, continuing down here, okay? And be careful, teacher, please do not delete the background. If it goes like this, please do not delete it. Be careful, okay? You don't want to delete the bottom one, too, okay? Now we're moving on to page 4 and 5. 4 and 5 is congratulations. One is for the boy and one for the girl. Okay. Now click on this one. Congratulations. Graduate class of 2024. Okay. I'm going to click on my pink headshots again. I'm going to go right click. I'm going to change picture. My insert picture shows up. And I'm going to put this kid right here. Okay. Voila, he answered. And still, teacher, you can change the border if you like. Uh, I'm going to ch um, choose go page border here. And I'm going to choose any color you like. Okay. I think I'm going to keep it dark gray here. I'm going to keep this one. Looks nice, actually. I'm going to highlight, be careful on your left hand side. <laughs> See what just happened? This kid will be deleted. Do not delete that. Be careful where you add your images. Uh, delete, don't delete your images, okay? I'm going to go to the right hand side and I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go here. But you can change color. You can click on the size you like. Uh, I think I'll put 24 and I'm going to change the font to this one. Okay. I'm going to add this kid name. Jason Tail. My student name is Jason Tail, for example. Okay. I'm going to go back here on my right hand side. I can highlight it. 
oops, highlight it and I could change it to color. That's too light, hard for you to see. How about, um, Anyways, I'll keep it black color. There you go. You can see it. Okay, moving on to page five. The girl, congratulations, kindergarten graduate student. I'm going to click here. Right click, change picture. Okay. And I'm going to grab the student right here. All right. I'm going to click on this one again. Just be careful. You can add her. Now, Jennifer Tail is size 18, for example, okay? And I want to glue her a little bit big, for example. See, be careful. Do not delete the background, okay? Try to get my... There we go. Highlighted. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to click here. Uh, I'm going to leave it size 18, but I'm going to change the font, okay? I'm going to put gummy bears, for example. Okay? And then I could change... I'm going to keep her white. Okay? Now we're moving on to page 6, 7, and 8. 6, 7, and 8 are connected. There's three pages. We have here... Um, We have 12 hot shots in one page, okay? This is the headshot, 12 plank headshots, okay? And I'm going to show you how to delete extra headshots. Depends on how many students do you have in the class, okay? If you have, for example, 21 students, 25 students, or 28 students, or 30 students, or 31, depends on how many students do you have in the class, okay? I'm going to show you right here, right click, change in, change picture, insert picture, here's my student again, I'm going to add my student. Now, I'm going to add, beginning of the page, say congratulations, say kindergarten graduate class of 2023-2024. Each student will have their own page, okay? And Jason Tail, he's not in here, okay? I'm not going to put Jason Tail in here because he's at the beginning of the page, okay? The congratulations page. I'm going to name this kid James Taylor. Okay, there's James Taylor. You can center it, by the way, teacher. Okay, make sure you use your arrow right here. You can put it in the middle if you like, okay? I'm going to click on this one here. I'm going to click on this girl here, click her here, she's right there, Jennifer Tail is there, I'm going to name this girl, be careful, do not delete the background, highlight the text box again, highlight it, I'm going to name it Lisa Yam, okay, I'm going to put Lisa Yam in the middle, Depends on your student's name. If it has a long last name, then you need to um, you need to shrink it. Okay, I will show you again. Right click. I'm going to choose this girl again, for example. Her name is going to be. Jennifer J. 
Jennifer. Read. There. Jennifer Reed. See how Jennifer Reed went down? And you have to make sure you don't delete the picture at the bottom. Okay? The, text, the extra headshots at the bottom. Do not delete that. Okay? Be careful. Hers is size 18. Her name. Okay? Make sure you put her in the mid center. If it's 18, I think I see. I highlighted here. I could like it 17 if I want to. Still too short. Then click on here and go to 16. And there's Jennifer Reed. Make sure all the students are alphabetical order in your class list. Make sure it's alphabetical order. Make sure you put the students in order. Okay? And that's very important. Okay? And you have here two size 18. And this is size, um, I believe, 16. And... You could do size 14 as well. Okay, moving on to the last page eight. I'm going to show you how you delete pictures. Okay, teacher, I'm going to show you. I'll see TRL button and see. Oops, sorry about that. It's CTRL Alt Alt button. Okay, click on both. Take your mouse, click on each empty headshot. See, I highlighted it. You can delete it. And your plank box is deleted. Say, example, you have empty bottom pages. You can add more empty random picture. Random picture. I'm going to show you how you do that. Okay? Go to your insert, where beside the home and design, in the between, click on insert, click on picture, same thing, this picture shows up, depends on where your picture is saved, if it's saved on the left hand side panel, you find desktop, document, download pictures, SD card, USB, or Dropbox, click on any of them, where your file is saved. I'm going to find my, I go back, I go back, click, uh, actually it's right here, and click on this one, group picture, okay, you see how that turned in, you can use this corner here, you can shrink it, okay, and you can add your empty picture here. If you want to add a text box, it's very tricky to do it from home page. It won't let you, um, I don't know why it won't let me add the text box here for some reason. But, yeah, it's not letting me click on it. Why don't just grab one of them from here, okay? Just go right click, okay? Oh, sorry. Um, oops, be careful. Just click on the edge of it, okay? And then click copy. When you have copy, paste. Right click, paste. Okay? And then you can, oops, see, I just moved that teacher. Be careful. Go back. Grab that text box and you can move it here. Inside this text box, you can add it. I'm going to make the font big, maybe size 24. I'm going to center it and change my font to gummy bears. And I'm going to stretch it. You can stretch it, okay? Uh, push it down if you like away oh, careful push it down if you like and it's centered if you want you could change color if you like 
um, to black font or blue font, I'm going to do whatever. I'm going to show you here. Click on this teacher. Go to format, picture tools, format. You can click on this and you click on here, right here. And then you can go to picture border. You can change the font color if you like, or the blue color, orange, or gray. I'm going to keep mine gray, for example. And then go right click, click on picture. Um, I go back, where my file saved, click on the yearbook, I click on this picture right here. Voila! There you go. See? That's how you add. You can add more, multi, whatever. Depends on how many headshots you have in the class, okay? Moving on to page 9 and 10. 9 and 10 are connected together, okay? Because the graduation connected together. Okay, teacher? It's very important that those two are connected together because same background. And be careful. Do not delete the banner and uh, the title and the images. Okay? I'm going to show you again. Click. Right click. Change picture. Insert picture folder pops up. If your picture is saved in one of these folders, you click on one of them. Okay? Say, example, mine is on a desktop or download um, or desktop. But I'm going to go back to where my original file was. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to put a group photo right here. Here's a group photo. You can add a headshot. Like a teacher, a student is painting, or teachers with a student, um, tutoring, or something. You go to right here, and you can click on the student right here. You can add picture right here. Like I said, you can go to format. If you want to change any of these backgrounds here, if you want to change color, you can change color. Um, I change color here, okay? You could do any way you like, okay, teachers? Be careful, do not delete the images. So that's page 9 and 10 connected together. Moving on to page 11. Page 11, you add your class photo, okay? Where the students are graduating class photo. Right click, click on it, right click. Change picture. I click on my group headshots. I add my student pictures there. Okay. Now moving on to page 12 and 13. 12 and 13 are sign your autograph. Sometimes the students write big. Sometimes the students write small. You need space to write the students autograph. They can write their message. And there, good luck next year, James. Uh, good luck, Jennifer. See you next year. Um, you know, like, like that. Now, moving on to page 14 and 15. You have two kindergarten diploma. One is for the girl and one is for the boy. Just like I said, in the beginning of the video that there's a head there is a um, headshot single headshot for a boy and a girl and the cover page for a boy and a girl say example you want to do Jennifer tail yearbook she's gonna get a girl cover page her graduate headshots her class headshots her class photo and her 
graduation photo albums, two pages that are connected together, and her kindergarten graduation diploma. They're all connected together. One book, plus the teacher message as well, connected together. Same thing with the boy yearbook, okay? And then we have here the last page. Last page is the back cover connected to your front cover page. By the way, teacher, I've been working at the summer school for the last 14 years, and I was a school photographer for a very long time. And I've been doing the school yearbook for a very long time. And I'm familiar for one company called Pegasus. And they are really good. Uh, they take your school headshots and they give you the CD and you can import your grad uh, photo inside in your yearbook. And you could take your own random pictures as well. But uh, like I said, teachers, you can use professional headshots in the yearbook. You have to ask the school office permission to add it in or you could have your own digital camera and you can do your own headshot and make the student wear their grad gown and grad hat a practice ceremony you can add all those things like the yearbook too but i think there's another uh place you can take your pictures um print it is that the uh, Staples, I believe. Yeah, Staples does the yearbook too, I think. I've seen Staples, they have um, uh, $24 for to make a photo book. You could take it there to get it printed and they will do it for you. Or you can contact your um, yearbook company like Pegasus, Life Touch. If you're um, international, I don't know what your standard photo photos are there you have to talk to your photo company there too but if you're Canada or USA you have to go to Staples or you can connect to your Life Touch or uh, Pegasus book company to print it, print it if you have a book binding at school and color printer at school you can print it at school and you can do those coding binding, you can do that. Or you can print it and take it to Staples. Staples do the coding for you. And you have the yearbook ready. Anyways, teacher, I hope to see your projects. And uh, please email me. Go to my resource station kindergartens. And you can email me and see how your yearbook turned out. And if you have any questions, please most welcome to email me. And I'm sorry, I know in my talk I had some few mistakes, but that's okay. That's the way uh, I filmed this project so many times, try to get it perfectly. But I'm going to leave it as it. <laughs> but um, enjoy my videos and i would love to have some feedbacks and uh teacher please please be careful do not delete your layouts if you save it accidentally like you forgot you saved it oh shoot i delete this many boxes it's hard for you to get it back and you have to go back to my website you have to restart all over again and re-add it again okay thank you for watching and i will see you the next one bye